this is the second book in the Temeraire series, which carries on the narrative which ended with the battle in the first book. It turns out that Temeraire's egg was being sent to the French by the Chinese, and naturally the Chinese emperor wants the dragon back and is rather annoyed that the British, in their view, committed an act of piracy by taking the egg. Naturally, this brings into the entire question of, yes, politics and government and international relations, with Lawrence raging about the possibility of being separated from Temeraire, the dragon. This gives Novak the opportunity to send Temeraire and Lawrence out to China to experience more of the wider world and how it's been changed by its use of dragons in its alternate history, Napoleonic Wars. There are some difficulties in this, mostly because it involves a lot of head-scratching on my part. The book is basically in two halves, although they're not equal. First is the journey out, which in many respects is the culture shock. And yes, there is a scene where the British are baffled by the Chinese use of chopsticks. And also an opportunity for those Victorian novel or Jane Austen novel style offenses on, shall we say, sensibility and honor and the like. There's plenty of minor annoyances with the, the characters blow up into much bigger things, which now I don't have much tolerance for this. I didn't have much tolerance for it even before I read the Flashman series by George MacDonald Fraser, which does such an excellent job at skewering this sort of pretentiousness, particularly of the British upper classes in, in that case, slightly later, the Victorian era. I do get that this is, after all, essentially the high-value proposition she's trying to do here, but I still found it rather annoying. When they do get to China, it turns into a more conventional, almost action-adventure type scenario, which I quite enjoyed. The The ending does at least explain much of the geopolitics going on in the background, and I have to admit it is a rather charming way to fix the otherwise unsolvable problem involved. Much of the joy from this book is Temeraire and Lawrence, and as much as Lawrence is a stand-in for the British of that era, with their very much British-centric worldview. There's a lot of how can the Chinese consider themselves to be so superior? We are Englishmen, darn it. Which, again, is perhaps accurate, but somewhat annoying after a while. Eventually he does understand and at least acknowledge that, at least where dragons are concerned, China actually does things better than the English do, which at least meant that there was a sort of some some self-awareness there. I did enjoy this, as much as it may sound like I didn't, particularly the discussion of aerial combat and even how the transport ship was designed, much like a modern aircraft carrier, is at least well thought through even if some of the wider questions about what this would do to English society aren't, in my opinion. For example, we get the whole business about female pilots and how horrible this is and shocking to British sensibilities. If it's true that Queen Elizabeth's ladies-in-waiting were first sent out to do this, it seems amazing to me that more stories wouldn't have leaked by now, or at least rumors. I'm assuming there'll be a big reveal at some point later in the series. I didn't quite get that far when I was reading through it previously. We shall see. I'm sure that I'll be reading this again when I do the entire series. At this stage, probably every couple of years. I did read this before 
before I went almost all digital back in 2013, and at that point had read it through a couple of times. But, as I discussed in my review for the first book, for some reason, I dropped away from the series for a while, only to return to it now to find out that, yes, it's been concluded. Disclaimer. As I usually point out, I do own a publishing company, and no, I haven't published anything on dragons or the Napoleonic Wars. But if that changes your opinion on my previous remarks, so be it. If you did like this, please subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And I will be back again shortly with another review.